Hi friends! I'm here to share another bedtime story with you tonight. This one is called Sleepyhead Bear. It's by Lisa Westberg Peters with pictures by Ian Schoenher. Sleepy head bear. Under sizzling skies with hot air to spare, bear tries to catch a few winks in his lair. A bug buzzes here, a bug buzzes there. Poor little ready for bed, sleepy head bear. He tries to look tall and growls, grrr, but the bugs aren't afraid and they buzz in his fur. Bear jumps in the lake and swims till he's sure that the big bugs and small bugs won't find him. Looks like they found him. Swap, swap here, slap, slap there. Poor little dog paddling, frog scattering bear. He climbs up a tree, but he doesn't get far because this is the tree where the stinging bugs are. He discovers a place to hide, but four raccoons won't budge until bear says, Rrrr! Raccoons flying here, raccoons flying there. Poor little stuck inside, bit too wide bear. The log starts to roll down a hill and it's clear that bear is going for a ride. Oh dear. The log turns around and around before bear is tossed out dizzy and sore. He lands in a meadow. Poor little bear has bumps on his head, bumps everywhere. Too tired to climb up and fall down anymore. He lets out a squeaky growl and roar. Where are the bugs? Did they disappear? Maybe there aren't any bugs down here. Just flowers. Ah. All of a sudden, bear is a blur with bugs that don't buzz or sting or whir. Flutter and dip, flutter and stir. Bugs on his nose, bugs on his fur. They tickle away his growl and his roar. They tickle him till he forgets he's sore. Bear stands up straight like a furry brown flower. His new friends visit him hour after hour. Under soft summer skies with stars galore, a warm breeze carries the hint of a snore. Nodding off here, nodding off there. Dear little fast asleep, at last asleep. Bear. Thanks for listening. Good night.